Hey everybody, Adam Savage here in my cave with uh, a new and interesting tool tip. Uh, and it begins here at one of the most used items in my shop, which is my beautiful Powermatic drill press. I love this thing. Uh, I have replaced the vice table. I have re-replaced the vice table. I put it on a new stand. I've done lots of stuff. I replaced the spindle a couple of years ago. Uh, but when you are using the drill press, it is a deceptively dangerous machine in some ways. And this setup I have right here of a piece of aluminum and a long drill bit on my table is a perfect recipe for just the kind of disaster that drill presses love to dish out. Uh, aluminum, famously grippy material. That means it can gall to your blade, which means it wants to stick to it when it's hot enough. Uh, and it also, as the, as the drill bit breaks through the aluminum and wants to pull itself in. And this can cause pieces of aluminum like this to be pulled up and then spin around and the drill bit is long so it can bend. You can get in real trouble. And I have been in shops where someone was freehand drilling something heavy and it got caught by the drill and everyone hit the deck and literally crawled to the plug to unplug it. That's how much we realized what trouble we were in. No one was hurt, luckily. Uh, now, normally to deal with this, I would pull out my drill press vise and clamp the work in the vise, which is a, a fine solution. Uh, and for production work, like I had to drill the same hole a bunch of times, I would set this vise up in a specific location with a stop on it and clamp it to the table. And sometimes that can be problematic depending on the orientation I want to clamp it to the table. But I don't have to worry about that anymore because uh, my friend Andrew Klein, who made me this beautiful workbench, also works with the lovely folks at MagSwitch and has sent me this magnificent MagSwitch drill press vice mount. Dude, I want to tell you, I didn't know this existed. And the moment they reached out and said, hey, we have a drill press MagSwitch, I was like, yes! I knew that I needed this in my life. Uh, and here is why it is so awesome. I want to lower it just a tiny bit. <clears throat> Look, clamping stuff down on your drill press vise is really important for safety. And it's also something you're most of the time not going to do. I know you. I know me. I know that's how I do it. So lowering the threshold to entry for clamping is brilliant. So with this, all we need to do to clamp I don't need to go find C clamps and other stuff like this. I turn the four mag switches here in their relative, in their closed directions. There we go. And now to be, <laughs> it's about 40 pounds of direct upward force, I would assume. I could be wrong about that. I am not a calibrated instrument, but it's a lot of force and it holds this very securely. And and then I can, yeah, so normally with a video like this, I'd show you the failure, but I'm scared enough of my drill press that I don't want to freehand drill this and have you watch it go. I have seen such a thing bend one of these bits like at a 15 degree angle uh, and a bigger bit than a half inch bit. Ah. I have a little bit of an issue, which is that the bolts, uh, the T-bolts that hold this in are long enough that they're actually getting in the way of my, um, of my little vice here. So uh, I am going to fix that. Give me just a minute. This is just a, about what this was idealized for. Let's see here. I, uh, I don't, I guess I could move them up a little bit. Yeah, that's probably just the fine way to do it. Let me grab a socket. All right. There we go. <clears throat> Now we turn on the magnets. One, two, three, four. And again. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is great. That is a nice amount of force. So 
Now, we simply clamp it in. So come on over here and take a look. You'll just notice in close up that the, it isn't a pretty hole. And it's not a pretty hole because this is too much drill bit for a single hole. You want to creep up on this. If you want a really nicely finished hole, you should be going to the next size down and then finishing, maybe even with the reamer. But the finish of this hole isn't what's important. What's important is it's a safe hole. Uh, and this vice mag switch vice attachment, uh, it just lowers the threshold to entry it lowers the threshold to entry to safe operation of this. And that's why it's now going to live there on top of my vices. Look, this is a great solution. And it is a solution that has been used for uh, over 100 years in shops all over the world. It's totally a reasonable solution to a drill press vise. This is just a little bit better. And I'm really psyched. Thank you to the mag switch guys for sending this to me. Uh, it is a little bit of a pricey piece of kit, but in any kind of shop that's doing work like I'm doing and above, I think it's a totally important bit of kit. Thanks for joining me for this show and tell, and I will see you guys next time.